locusts are a, a very dramatic example of, of collective behavior. These swarms in sub-Saharan Africa and across Asia can actually number in the billions and invade up to one-fifth of the Earth's land surface. And the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations estimates that they impact the livelihood of one in 10 people on the planet. And so this is an enormous uh, humanitarian issue. And so we wanted to try to understand why do locusts swarm? And you know, remarkably, we, we didn't know that uh, until we, we performed these studies. And what we discovered is that these vast swarms, before they get wings, locusts form what are called hopper bands, these vast swarms of hoppers marching across the desert. Tens of kilometers of these insects eating the vegetation as they go, or so we thought. We actually discovered that these swarms are driven by cannibalism. The insects are very limited in protein and salt, and so they turn on each other in these very nutrient-poor environments. So what looks like a cooperative behavior is actually a selfish swarm, a forced march, so to speak, where everyone is trying to eat those ahead and trying to avoid being eaten from those behind. So by understanding the nutritional requirements and that these very specific nutrients will then cause the onset of swarm behavior, then gives us hope that we can develop technologies using satellite imaging to understand better how the vegetation structure and how droughts and how rains and how wind creates the environment in which these locusts form these vast mobile aggregates that have such a huge impact.